if now I finally banished my boyfriend downstairs so I can actually film. Oh no, one of the hairbands snapped. I'll just take him out then, I guess. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I am Jasmine, otherwise known as The Quartz Girl, and today I'm going to be showing you through my setup. All the details, my PC specs, where I got everything from, the whole shebang is all in this video. All the links, or most of them, should be down in the description for all the products that you see here today. If you are from my TikTok page, hello, it's nice to see you here on my YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button for more of these types of videos. If you're brand new, hi, nice to meet you. I have no idea how you found me, but I love having new people here. So you can hit that subscribe button. If you like what you see here today, then you can follow me on TikTok and see more of me. So that's great. So my setup. Um, I've been wanting to get a PC and a whole setup ever since I was literally 13 years old and I started playing League of Legends on um, my really crappy PC. Um, it was like an all-in-one and it was very bad and I had like four gigabytes of RAM on it so that was really bad. And after that I started playing on my MacBook that again was not very good. So it was really nice to be able to actually finally go and get myself a whole setup this year after I moved into my new house in September. And I'm really excited to show you guys literally everything. My monitors, let's start with those. I got both of my monitors off of Facebook Marketplace. I, you will see going through this video, got a lot of my pieces from Facebook Marketplace because they are so much cheaper and I am not fussed about things being secondhand as long as they're in good condition and they work well. So my monitors are both from Facebook Marketplace. One of them is a 21 inch BenQ monitor and it is just sort of a standard monitor. It is the GW2255. It's pretty good. It's just a monitor. I don't know, like it's not anything special. It doesn't have the most amazing you know refresh rate in the world but it works i don't play a lot of um, fps games so i'm not really fussed about having an insane refresh rate on my monitors it's not that big of a deal to me um i originally started just with my benq monitor and then i decided to upgrade and get myself a second monitor and this one is the hp pro display p201 and it is again just a 21 inch monitor that I got off Facebook Marketplace and it's exactly the same as my BenQ, it's nothing special, it's just a second monitor that I could have so I could see things on the second screen. They cost me £15 each and 15 by the way, one five. they were literally dirt cheap and they have done me so much justice so if you take one thing away from this video it is that look on Facebook Marketplace or Gumtree or whatever secondhand selling site you have in your area and pick up pieces off of there if you're not too fussed about things being brand new. Next we'll move on to my desk. My desk is a white L-shaped desk. It's from a company called Langria but I bought it off of Amazon. It's probably my favourite part of my entire setup. It's got loads of room and it's got two little shelves on the side that let me have my bin and a crate full of snacks in them and it has a section for you to be able to put a keyboard shelf which you can pull in and out um, but I did decide not to add that because it felt a bit too short once I added that so I left it out but honestly my desk is my favorite part of my setup and I would say if you've got the room get a big desk it makes a world of a difference because it means you can have so much cute stuff and you have loads of room to actually like play your games and stuff. This was £65 from Amazon, I believe. So it is on the cheaper end of most desks that you find, especially like gaming desks and big desks. So I was really happy to find it for so cheap. The next part I will talk about is my monitor stand. So this is a glass monitor stand, which I also got from Amazon. I only added this in very recently. It's one meter by 25 
centimeters and it is 10 centimeters tall and it is just amazing to have um, if you don't have like monitor clamps for your monitors so that's when you like attach them to the table and then have them without the stand i would say definitely get a monitor stand because it frees up a lot of room on your desk and it means that you can cover it with like figurines and it just gives you another level of space that cost me 30 pounds with the glass as well i think the glass makes it feel even more roomy because you can see straight underneath so you don't have to like sort of look underneath and peer around and move stuff about you've got the glass so you can see straight through it it works perfectly next i'll talk about my led lights they are just led strips i got them for a tenner off of amazon and you plug them into usb so i've got them plugged into my pc and they just run all the way around my desk um you can pick loads of different colors it's just an rgb strip like it's nothing special my mouse mats i've got two mouse mats one which i use for my keyboard which is an rgb sanrio mouse mat um, I got it off of AliExpress and then again Hello Kitty little mouse mat also from AliExpress. The RGB one you can change the lighting settings between 16 different settings on the side with a button. It doesn't have a remote so sometimes it is frustrating having to cycle through all of the settings but that's fine with me. The RGB one cost me £13 and the one I have for my mouse cost me £2. Let's talk about my keyboard and mouse. So my keyboard my keyboard is the Razer Huntsman in quartz. It's one of the more pricier things in my setup. It costs £150, but I got it for £90. It goes on sale very often to £100, and then you can get £10 off if you sign up to the Razer newsletter. Um, so that's what I did, and it meant that I could get it a lot cheaper than how much it retails for. So the keyboard has four RGB functions. You install Razer Cortex on your PC when you first get it and you can control all your Razer devices from there and you can literally have so many colour settings. My mouse is a Razer Death Adder Essential Mouse. It's just a really cheap black mouse with a green light. It's nothing special. It's got two buttons on the side. I got it really cheap off of Facebook Marketplace along with my first keyboard. I picked both of them up for £25 together so it was really really cheap and I was really happy with that. My headset is the Razer Kraken in quartz. It doesn't come with the cat ears, you can buy the cat ears separately. However, I bought the headset secondhand off of eBay and the person who was selling it sold it with the cat ears. So that was really lucky. I picked that up for £85 and then it was £15 shipping. So it was about £100 in total. It is the wired edition. I wanted to upgrade to the bt edition so the bluetooth kitty edition that came out very recently however i haven't heard very good reviews about it particularly about the microphone um i will say that wireless headsets tend to have worse quality microphones the microphone on this headset is pretty good there's really nothing i can fault about it you can mute your mic and change the volume on the headset straight from the attachment that comes on the wire which is really handy um, my headset stand is from Ikea, it costs £3, it is just a black metal stand. You can also like put your phone on the back side or your tablet or whatever. Um, so it is multi-purpose, pretty cool. Moving on, I have an Xbox One controller. It is just your standard wireless Xbox One controller from the Xbox Store. That costs £60. I have the little thumb grips on it which I got from AliExpress for about 50p. They're really small, really cheap and they are a really cute addition so I would say definitely pick those up. My anime acrylic lamp. So I have a Zuko lamp. I absolutely love Avatar The Last Airbender. It was my favourite cartoon growing up and it was my mum's favourite cartoon too so it has a really special place in my heart and Zuko obviously you know everybody had a crush on Zuko growing up so I had to get a Zuko lamp and this lamp i got for six pounds off of aliexpress and i've seen loads of sort of companies popping up selling these lamps literally exactly the same lamp for 20 30 40 pounds so please if you want an anime acrylic lamp please just get it off of aliexpress don't let these companies drop ship them to you for triple the price it comes with a remote control and it has 16 different settings to change colors on Next, I have my DS case. It's empty right now, but I literally picked this up for 50p at CEX like last week, and 
I just thought it was so cute that I could not leave it behind i had to get it so yeah i just have that sitting on my desk it doesn't even have anything in it it is just so cute i have three pop figures on my desk and pops are just really cute uh they're obviously not a necessity at all but they're a nice way to make your desk or space look a lot nicer next i have this white metal shelving unit so it's like it's got three drawers and i picked this up from ikea for 12 pounds and it genuinely is such a lifesaver and it helps me keep my desk so much tidier than it would be. I just shove all my junk in here and it keeps it hidden away but still close by. So definitely something I would recommend picking up. Next I have my VR stand. This isn't actually on my desk, it's on the window next to my desk because my desk is starting to get very full of random cute things that I find and need to buy. So I have an Oculus Quest 2, which I was very lucky to be able to get for Christmas. And I wanted to have a stand for it because it is a bit sort of fiddly to just leave on the side. So I definitely wanted to have somewhere where I could have it displayed right next to my desk. So I also picked that up from AliExpress for £12 and the headset was £300. If you are looking to buy a VR headset, 110% recommend the Quest 2 it being wireless is literally like it gives you such a different experience with vr and i would say that the quest 2 is probably the best vr experience i've had in a long time my chair so i got my plain black office chair from facebook marketplace for 15 pounds and i'm just really sorry that i can't tell you guys the brand or anything because this chair is so great i also have a cushion which i got from aliexpress for £15, it's just a pink soft cushion. My cats love it. This cushion is a great alternative to a gaming chair since gaming chairs are very expensive. Even though they look great, they're typically not very comfortable. So it's nice to be able to buy a £15 cushion, which looks cute and is comfortable. Um, I also have a mat or rug underneath my chair. Um, it's just a rug I got off of AliExpress as well for £10. It just protects the carpet underneath from being damaged by wheeling your chair around all the time. If you are looking for something like that, then this one has worked great for me so far and I've had no issues with it and it was very cheap. So my phone stand is a six pound phone stand that I got off of AliExpress and it is literally amazing. It tilts at different angles and it's height adjustable and it holds my phone perfectly, both portrait and landscape. So if you need a phone stand for your desk, I'm telling you right now, you do get this one. I didn't think I'd need a phone stand for my desk and after having it, it has literally saved my life. I literally just leave it on the side and scroll through TikTok while I am in loading screens and it's great. So definitely pick one up. I just want to say before we move on to the PC section of the video, I am in no way an expert on PC parts or specs or anything. I sort of have picked up what I know over the course of a few years being surrounded by friends who have had amazing PCs and through very minimal research into different aspects of a PC. Before I picked up this PC, I was planning on building my own one. Um, it was just too pricey for me at the time. So I did do some research into some of the different aspects. Please don't take what I say here at face value. Please do your own research before investing in PC parts or going out and buying pre-builds. When buying a PC, you need to make sure that it suits your needs as everyone uses their PC differently. So don't just go out and buy a PC that's exactly the same as mine unless you're gonna be doing exactly the same thing I'm doing on it. It's much better to do your research beforehand than to be disappointed with the result afterwards. With that said, let's move forward. Moving on to my PC specs, which is what I know you guys are here for. So my PC I got for £250 of Facebook Marketplace. And let me tell you, I didn't even realise how lucky I was at the time to have picked up a PC this good for £250. I do just want to say that my PC case is hideous because I got this PC for £250. I am planning on getting a new PC case very soon, but as of now, this is what I've got and please don't criticize it because I know it's ugly. Let's start off with my graphics card. My graphics card is a GeForce GTX 1060. It's a pretty good 
mid-tier graphics card. It runs all the games that I would ever want it to run. I don't really play AAA new titles, so I don't need an insanely powerful graphics card. It This graphics card runs all the games that I needed to run at a very good standard. So if you are looking for a cheaper alternative for a graphics card, then I would definitely say this one or the 1050 or the 1050Ti are really good options. I have got 16 gigs of RAM. Realistically, you only need eight to run most games. Um, my CPU or processor is an Intel Core i5-4590 at 3.3 gigahertz. My CPU doesn't really get very overloaded unless I've had my PC on for weeks at a time. So I would say that it works very well for me. My power supply is the CX550 from Corsair, which is a bronze power supply. I hope this video was useful to all of you guys who have been asking me for a full setup tour for ages now. I'm very sorry it took me a while to actually make it. I do have a lot of bits and pieces that I needed to talk through so I knew it would take me a while to make. If you have any questions about anything that I've shown today or are looking for any advice then please leave it in the comments below. I'm not entirely qualified to be giving advice about PCs but I will try my best to help you out. If you want to see more of my setup, then feel free to follow me on TikTok. I post setup videos there all the time. I have a series showing off pieces that I get off of AliExpress. So if that piques your interest, go and follow me. If you'd like to hang out with me on stream, which I'm hoping to be starting soon, then please give me a follow on Twitch. The link will be in the description. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. It was really nice to show off my entire setup. This is not complete yet, it's still a work in progress as I buy more things that I find on AliExpress. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this, hopefully very soon. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!